Good morning. Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the Ingevity products, formulations, ingredients, skin health questions, questions about my Truth Skin Health products, uh, comments, success story. If you just want to join in the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, please head over to my website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase products off the website. You can also sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start yourself a longevity business, earn thank you checks, help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. Enjoy the tax benefits associated with having your own business. Make a little money, make a lot of money, maybe quit your day job. Offer a one-time $25 fee. Call 866-735-2470. That's the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team. They can give you the scoop. You can also sign up right off the website. It's brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. We've got blog posts and news stories up at our websites as well. Pharmacistben.com, brightsideben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And also want to remind you to please check out my Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. We have a special going on our Truth Serum, Truth, uh, Truth Serum, Truth Bomb, Truth Omega 6 Healing Cream, and Truth. Uh, retinol 5% gel are all made without preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifier, water, silicon, propylene, glycol, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want, only active and functional ingredients in all our true skin health products. If you've tried to use retinol in the past and haven't been able to, you really want to check out our Truth 5% retinol gel. If you're dealing with acne blemishes or dark spots or you want to prevent accelerated aging or even reverse accelerated aging of the skin, Truth Retinol 5% gel is made with the highest amount of retinol you're going to find anywhere in a in addition to lots of premium lipophilic vitamin C without any preservatives or fragrances or anything that can irritate your skin. Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Balm, Truth Omega 6 Healing Cream, and our Truth, uh, Truth Serum are all found at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to the bright side. We've been talking bee products specifically. Well, we talked about honey earlier. We talked about propolis yesterday, propolis for the city. The city being the beehive. Propolis is bee glue, bee cement. It's used by bees to patch up their hives, to repair their hives. I, I think that's just absolutely amazing how bees know how to repair their hives, block entrances from enemies. It's just amazing stuff. Bees are amazing. Propolis is amazing. Honey is amazing. 
Like honey, propolis is absolutely packed with nutritional value. It's got the phenolic acids that we've been talking about. It's got other phytonutrients, the flavonoids. It's a good source of vitamin A in its, uh, in its beta carotene form. It's got calcium and magnesium and phosphorus and the B complex of vitamins. It's got, um, well, I talked, I talked to you about the flavonoids. It's got a specific kind of a substance that's called CAPE, a specific polyphenol called CAPE, C-A-P-E, that is powerfully anti-cancer, according to several studies, and is powerfully anti-inflammatory as well, and even it'll get you a little, uh, propolis that is, will even get you a little bit of protein. I've been, personally, I've been using propolis in the skincare business. I was working with it in my pharmacy for many years. It's just really, really difficult to work with propolis. It's very gooey and sticky. It's resin, after all. It's bee glue, bee cement, but when you melt it, or you dissolve it in oil a little bit, or maybe a little bit of alcohol. I used to blend alcohol and oil and then heat it up and then add the propolis. You know, only get a little tiny bit in, but you can, you can put it in oil and then add it to a cream and it makes a wonderful wound healing salve. Or you can add it straight to olive oil, a little tiny bit of propolis. Maybe you might have to add some alcohol too, and then put it into olive oil. And it makes a really nice salve or, or like oily lotion substance for healing wounds and rashes and even acne blemishes. And for a very good reason. It's got all these anti-inflammatory nutrients and it's got all uh, lots of antimicrobial, antimicrobial properties, antibacterial properties. It comes, after all, from resin. And resin is wonderfully antibacterial and antimicrobial. Another really good source of phenolic acid, that's what we're talking about here, is the, the uh, third class of polyphenols, phenolic acid. Another really good source, and maybe my favorite source, I mean, I hate to say my favorite, but one of my favorite sources is cinnamon. And cinnamon, by the way, goes really well with honey. You want to make yourself a super polyphenol or phenolic acid rich uh, uh, spice or sweetener, mix your cinnamon with honey. Cinnamon and honey go together perfectly well. In addition to being uh, one of the all-time great, all-time great medicinal spices, right up there with oregano. Maybe not as potent as oregano or, or as turmeric, but it's right up there. And the cool thing about cinnamon is not only is it super duper medicinal, but it's also really tasty. It enhances the sweetness of other, uh, of other sweeteners. It enhances the sweetness of sugar. It enhances the sweetness of honey. It enhances the flavor of other spices. It enhances the flavor of nutmeg and clove. If you want to really uh, make a tasty beverage, I've been making a flaxseed beverage where I grind the flaxseeds and I add cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg, and a little ginger. They, all four of them go together, and the cinnamon enhances the flavor of the nutmeg and the clove and the ginger, and it enhances the flavor of sugar. Go ask uh, Geraldine Brousseau, who is famous for inventing the Cinnabon. She turned cinnamon and sugar and bread and butter into this multi-billion dollar business called Cinnabon. She didn't actually do it. She was the chef who did it. It's a, Cinnabon is a big restaurant company, but they hired Geraldine Brousseau to create the perfect cinnamon roll, and, and she took some cinnamon and sugar and bread and butter and made it a Cinnabon. And who doesn't love cinnamon rolls? Everybody loves cinnamon rolls. And cinnamon rolls would not be anywhere near the same without the cinnamon. They'd just be sugar and bread and butter which was, you know, probably still tasty, but it's not going to be a cinnamon roll. You add a little cinnamon in there, oh my God, you've got a Cinnabon, basically. A billion dollar business. Now, I am not saying that in any way, shape, or form a Cinnabon is good for you. It's basically a thousand calories with next to no, pretty much close to zero nutritional value. A thousand calories with no nutritional value, not to mention the toxicity of the sugar. But what I am saying here is that you can bump up the sweetness of sugar and honey and any sweetener with cinnamon. That will allow you to use less sugar, allow you to use less sweetener. And you'll be able to uh, get the nutritional value of the cinnamon. By the way, stevia, which has a tiny, slightly bitter off taste if you use too much, you can actually cut down your stevia usage by adding, uh, by adding uh, a cinnamon to your stevia. Now, cinnamon, cinnamon is sweet, it enhances flavors and it tastes great, but it does much more than just amp up flavors. Cinnamon is extremely, extremely nutritional. It's a very powerful, maybe the most powerful, one of the most powerful of the nutritional spices. And all spices are going to get you some nutrients, but cinnamon is really amazing. And one of the really cool things about cinnamon is not only does it bump up the sweetness of sugar, allowing you to use less sugar, but cinnamon actually contains substances in it that help the body process sugar. 
Cinnamon is sugar's best friend. Not only does it improve the flavor and the taste of sugar, but it also helps the body process it too. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We do have lines open, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about uh, anything we're speaking about here today or comment or success story, if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please go to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com, and you can purchase products products right off the website or call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And please join us in our mission to help educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program for a one-time $25 fee. You can be part of the Brightside Ben team and make some money selling longevity products, helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. Of course, you can also just get your products at the wholesale price if that's all you want for a one-time $25 fee. Call 866-735-2470, and they can tell you all about it. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here at the bottom of the hour, as we always do in the program. Talking about cinnamon here. Love the stuff. Tastes awesome. Helps amp up the uh, flavors of nutmeg and clove. And most importantly, it amps, amps up the flavor of sugar, which is really interesting because it also helps the body process sugar. So it's a diabetic's best friend. Cinnamon, it will allow you to use less sweetener in your foods if you use a little bit of cinnamon, Cinnamon, and it also helps lower your blood sugar. How do you like that? And it helps lower your insulin too. Remember, it's not just blood sugar that's the problem when you have diabetes or insulin resistance. Insulin itself has a toxic profile. And keeping your insulin down is really important, just as important as keeping your blood sugar down. And doctors never test, by the way, for insulin. They always test for blood sugar, and they'll say, oh, Mrs. Jones, Mr. Jones, your blood sugar's fine. But what they forget to mention, or they don't know, is that your blood sugar's fine because your insulin is going through the roof. And insulin has its own toxic profile, which we'll be talking about here in a couple of days, or maybe a couple weeks, actually. We're going to talk about insulin and its importance, uh, regulating insulin and the importance of regulating insulin for everybody especially if you're aging, especially if your testosterone is going away, especially if you're making too much or you're suffering from too much estrogenic effects. There's an important relationship between insulin and estrogen, and especially, especially, especially if you're a pregnant mom. But I digress because we're talking here about cinnamon. So cinnamon actually contains chromium. And chromium is one of the all-time great minerals for helping the body process sugar. You're going to find chromium, of course, in your sweeties. Chromium is part of what's called the glucose tolerance factor, or the GTF. This GTF molecule is how the body utilizes and processes and deals with sugar. And using chromium, in addition to niacin, can help your body build this GTF. That's why the ultimate niacin is so important. Niacin is not just important for sugar, it's also important for blood fats. And as I've said many times on this program and in my presentations and when I'm talking to folks, niacin is the go-to supplement, the go-to vitamin for helping the body deal with fats and sugar. Body fat blood fat, triglycerides, as well as sugar. Niacin also helps support insulin, and it works hand-in-hand -hand with chromium. Now, you'll get chromium, of course, in your sweeties. You'll get your niacin and your ultimate niacin, but you can get chromium in, in cinnamon. In fact, there's about 400 micrograms of chromium in a gram of cinnamon. That works out to maybe a quarter teaspoon or so, a little less than a quarter teaspoon. 400 micrograms of cinnamon in a little less than a quarter teaspoon of I'm sorry, 400 micrograms of chromium in around a quarter teaspoon or so of cinnamon. That's a lot of chromium. That's like two Sweeties capsules in a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. I mean, that's crazy. That is some powerful, powerful stuff. A quarter teaspoonful is, you know, that's enough to spice up maybe a cup of something or, or a couple cups of tea or a couple cups of flaxseed beverage, as I was talking about. Cinnamon, you can put cinnamon everywhere, of course, but a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon has two sweeties, has the equivalent chromium of two sweeties capsules. You're not going to get the vanadium, and there's some other ingredients in sweeties, so it's not exactly equivalent, but it has the same amount of chromium. 
Now, keeping in mind that chromium is one of the most powerful, maybe the most powerful mineral when it comes to blood sugar and insulin, you can see how powerful cinnamon can be for helping diabetics keep their blood sugar under control. And this stuff on top of everything else tastes great. And by the way, you don't have to be a diabetic to benefit from blood sugar control. And you don't have to be a diabetic to have messed up blood sugar. Diabetes is some kind of pronouncement that the doctor gives you. He diagnoses you as a diabetic and all of a sudden you get coded into the computer and you get a, a, a specific protocol and you can enjoy all the benefits of the American Diabetes Association membership just because you're a diabetic. But you don't have to be officially pronounced and condemned and, and knighted as a diabetic by your, your medical professional to be dealing with messed up blood sugar and cinnamon can help us there too. And it tastes great on top of everything else. But as they say, that's not all. Cinnamon is also a really good source of zinc, an awesome mineral for lots of things, but especially important for blood sugar control. In fact, if chromium is the most important mineral for blood sugar control, a very good case could be made that zinc is the second most important mineral for blood sugar control. Now, arguably, there's others too, of course, vanadium and selenium. There's other things too. I'm not magnesium. I'm not saying it's the end all and be all, but it's pretty important for blood sugar, con sugar control. Let's just say that. Now, you're not going to get enough zinc in your cinnamon that you don't need to supplement or, or get it from foods, organ meats, nuts, fish, etc. Uh, so I'm not sitting here telling you that you're going to get enough zinc from your cinnamon. You're only going to get a small amount of zinc, but still pretty amazing. You got this stuff that tastes awesome, bumps up the flavor of sugar, a great source of chromium. And on top of that, you're going to get, uh, you're going to get zinc. It's so cool how nature works that it, it, the cinnamon plant has all the foods, all the nutrients we need to process sugar and cinnamon and sugar go hand in hand, uh, like hand in glove. They're two peas in a pod. They work together. And they all, uh, the cinnamon supports sugar metabolism as well. But that's not all. You get other benefits from cinnamon. It's a natural blood thinner. The biggest problem when it comes to chronic health challenges, the biggest problem is, as I've said many times, dirty blood, clogged, sticky blood. Well, guess what? Cinnamon has got something in it called coumarin. Coumarin's a natural blood thinner. Cinnamon is a natural blood thinner, which can help you improve oxygenation to cells, nutrition to cells, detoxification, circulation, improve overall cell health. And cinnamon has got one of nature's highest ORAC values. The ORAC scale is a measurement of antioxidant potential, and cinnamon is super high, uh, has one of the highest of all the, or all the spices, one of the highest ORAC values of any spice. And it's a natural pain reliever. It contains something called eugenol. Eugenol is used in dentistry. We use it in pharmacy. I used to make products with eugenol. You'll find eugenol, E-U-G-E-N-O-L, in uh, anesthetics, dental anesthetics for dental pain. You could use a little cinnamon and clove. Both cinnamon and clove are very high in this stuff called eugenol, which is a numbing agent, an analgesic. It actually has an anesthetic effect. Cinnamon's got panathenic acid. That's vitamin B5. It's got vitamin B3, niacin for more sugar support. It's got vitamin B6. And cinnamon has got sun protection properties. Are you, are you getting the sense that this stuff's amazing? This super tasty spice is not just super tasty, but super nutritional. It protects your eyes. It's got lutein in it, a, a, a go-to eye protection vitamin from the sun. You'll find lutein, of course, in uh, eye vitamins, eye nutrients, like the Vision FX, Longevity's Vision FX. It's got zeaxanthin. And speaking of sun protection, cinnamon has got one of the most amazing all-time great sun protectors for topical use. There's actually a derivative of this stuff. It's actually used industrially. We'll talk about that as we continue talking cinnamon and the polyphenols on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll get your uh, phone calls when we come back from our break. Don't go away. Back on the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com and pharmacistben.benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up. We also have blog posts and news stories and longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And you can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. Or you can call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. 
and talk to somebody in person if you want to join the team for a one-time $25 fee. Okay, our number, 844-236-6010 is our number. We've got lots of open lines for you. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, health, nutrition, prescription drugs, you want to wean yourself off your meds, I say wean yourself off your meds because that's how you want to do it. Nutrition makes your medication work better. Let me say that again. That's so important because you hear, you, there's this myth out there. I, I hear people asking all the time, is this going to interfere with my drugs? Well, yeah, it's going to interfere with your drugs. It's going to make them stronger. It's going to make your drugs more powerful, more potent, but that doesn't mean that you don't want to use the nutrients. It means you want to lower your dose of the drugs. Sometimes people will get put on a blood thinner. We talked about coumarin in cinnamon as a blood thinner. So you use your cinnamon, you, don't, you have to be on less blood thinner. But the doctor will say, oh, well, you don't want to use any cinnamon because that'll make your blood thin too much. Well, why don't you lower the dose on the drug? How's that for an idea? Nutrition helps drugs work more effectively. Now, there are some exceptions. There's things like vitamin K counteracting the, the effect of blood thinners. But for the most part, your nutrients are going to make your drugs more potent, which means you'll need less drugs. Use nutrients to wean yourself off your meds. That's my advice. All right. 844-236-6010. We'll get your number. We'll get your calls here in just a second. We do have lines open. A couple cool stories I want to want to share with you, and the one I really want to share with you, I can't seem to find now. Uh, bum, 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 but I got lots to talk about. I'll have to find that later. Oh no, this is the one I want to tell you about. Memory loss associated with Alzheimer's reversed for the first time. Now I've been saying this for years. If you're dealing with a chronic illness, a progressive illness, it by definition can be reversed. The nature of chronic progressive, uh, progressive diseases is they progress. They move forward. That means they can move backward if you eliminate the reason why they're moving forward. For the most part, the reason why they move forward is nutritional deficiencies and toxicities. There's also the, the spiritual, mental, emotional issues. I'm not going to get into that. But there's always reasons why disease progresses. It doesn't just randomly progress. Diseases don't get worse on their own. They don't just spontaneously get worse. They get worse because we're eating the wrong food. They get worse because we're not getting enough nutrition. They will get worse because we're not breathing correctly or we got inflammation or, or we got the spiritual and mental and emotional factors. Pull those off and your chronic or eliminate those and your chronic degenerative disease will reverse. And that's true about all of them. Dementia is said to be irreversible. It's not. Common sense tells you that, but, but now it's been shown in, uh, from the, uh, in a study from the UCLA Mary S. Eaton Center for Alzheimer's Disease Research and the Buck Institute for Research and Aging. This is the first study to suggest that memory loss in patients may be reversed and improvement sustained. That means not only will it be reversed, but it will continue to reverse. And this is not airy-fairy. This is UCLA's Mary S. Eaton Center for Alzheimer's Disease Research, a guy named Dr. Bredesen. He says, uh, what does he say here? There's no drugs that can do it, but, but you can do it with nutrition. You can do it with strategies, with intel, uh, uh, intelligence strategies, intelligence building strategies. This is an article that was published uh, from the Buck Institute for Research and Aging. Memory loss associated with Alzheimer's reversed for the first time. Here's another juicy one for you. KFC to stop using chickens raised with human antibiotics. Oh, thank you, KFC. This is the latest thing, by the way, in the chicken business. They're going to stop using uh, antibiotics. However, what they don't tell you is they're still going to use antibiotics to treat diseases in the chickens. In other words, they're not going to use antibiotics just routinely, just pound them with antibiotics, put it in the feed and in the water. But they'll still use it routinely, or I'm so they'll still use it specifically to treat diseases in chickens. So don't be misled. Just because they tell you they stop using chickens raised with human antibiotics doesn't mean they're going to completely stop using antibiotics. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. From the National University of Singapore, daily consumption of tea may protect the elderly from cognitive decline. Now, tea is amazingly beneficial, at least when it comes to active ingredients. There's a, a substance in tea called theanine, T-H-E-A-N-I-N-E. -N -N -E. Theanine has been associated with relaxation effects, associated with vasodilation, opening up blood vessels. It's got anti-anxiety properties. And we're going to talk about this, I think, tomorrow or the next day. Tea contains a very interesting substance called EGCG, which is a type of polyphenol substance that is wonderful, absolutely 
amazing for helping protect against skin cancer. If you want to protect against skin cancer, if you're laying out in the sun a lot, make sure you're drinking your green tea with cinnamon. Oh, and with honey. Cinnamon, honey, and tea is like a, an anti-sun damage cocktail, an anti-sunburn cocktail. Of course, you can also make your own topical products by using tea and by using cinnamon and by using honey. Make your own topical skin protecting product. Daily consumption of tea may protect elderly from cognitive decline. This is from, uh, that was from the National University of Singapore. Okay, got lines open. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to my buddy Carl, the Truth Raider. Good morning, Carl. What's going on, buddy? Hey, I got two subjects for you real quick. So, yes, sir. Uh, that Ben, my teeth are all falling apart. <laughs> You're falling I, apart, Carl. You're yeah. a young man. What's going on, bro? Uh, well, I have a question for you concerning that. Then I have another subject really quick to, to yeah. get to you for. Okay. My, uh, are dental x-rays safe in your mm. opinion? I, you know, they tell you they are. They get You go to the dentist and he's like, that's just as much x-ray as you get from a scanner at a supermarket or, or the revolving door at the supermarket, whatever. I, I'm not buying it. Exposure to x-rays is not a good thing, especially right in your mouth. But, you know, what are you going to do? You got to have this. They got to look and see. They can't see things without the x-ray. So, you know, you're stuck with it. Look, Carl, exposure to things, exposure to x-rays and exposure to toxicity in our 21st century lifestyle, uh, the way we live our lives in the 21st century, it's just inevitable. I don't think it's a good thing, but what are you going to do? If you're, yeah, going to be, if you're going to be exposed to these things, if you're traveling a lot and you go through those machines, those scanner machines, which I do all the time, or if you're going to get at dental x-rays, or you've got to get x-rays that you know, you're injure yourself, you've got to have x-rays, use protective nutrition. And there's wonderful nutrients that will protect you from, from x-rays, as well as other toxins. For one thing, we're going to talk about this later, uh, probably next week, the flavonoids. Very protective against solar radiation, against x-ray radiation, against radiation in general. Clay can be protective. Bentonite clay. Zeolite can be protective. Vitamin C can be protective. You see, to, to try to, to worry about the negative stuff without leveraging the powerful stuff, the good stuff that protects us from the negative stuff, that doesn't seem like a very healthy strategy to me. Yes, we're going to be exposed to toxins in the water. Yes, we're going to be exposed to, to x-rays. Yes, we're going to be exposed to antibiotics in our food. Yes, we're going to be exposed to all kinds of poisons from, gly from uh, glyphosate to, to xenoestrogens and plastics to drugs in the water. Everywhere we turn, there's toxicity. That's the world we have created as human beings. And it doesn't do us any good to, to just mow and groan and, and, and tut tut about it and just be pissed off. What we got to do is we got to protect ourselves. And that's what this program is about. That's why I call it the bright side. The bright side is, is we can protect ourselves from all of these things. But you got to understand how to do it. Hang on, Carl. We got to take a break. We'll come back. We'll finish up when we come back. We do have lines open 844 236 6010. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll return right after this. All right, we are back on the bright side. I've got lots of open lines for you at 844-236-6010 if you've tried to get on board in the past and have not been able to. Now is your chance. We're talking to my friend Carl in Oregon. Hey, Carl. Hey, Ben. Thank you for having me on the show. I'll go real quick here. No, nah, it's me and you, bro. It's just, it's just me and you. It's the Carl and Ben show today. Okay, good. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it, it, it's a case where I, I, I cannot refuse the dental x-ray. So uh, I was just wondering what the toxicity and the risk Not were. good. Oh. Vitamin C. Let me give you some ideas for radiation, okay? For, and this is, not, this is for Fukushima, and this is for x-rays, and this is for solar radiation. I mean, radiation is everywhere, obviously. Um, but there's lots of things you could do strategically from a nutritional standpoint to help protect yourself. First of all, you want to minimize your, your exposure to toxicity that can add to toxic load. There's this phenomena in the world of tox in the world of toxicology and toxicology in the body called load. It's like, I call it the straw that breaks the camel's back phenomena. It's the, uh, your body's like a camel and every tox piece of toxin that you put inside your body is like a straw. And your body can handle a certain amount of straws and then one straw breaks the camel's back and you go into some kind of disease state. But before that disease happens, you're piling on straws. So if the x-rays are one kind of straw, sugar is another kind of straw, nutritional deficiencies are another 
another kind of straw. These are all straws that ultimately will lead to breaking the camel's back. So remove the straws first. If you have to have a dental x-ray, that's a straw you can't remove. But you can remove the straw of sugar. You can remove the straw of processed food. You can remove the straw of antibiotics and meat. You can remove the straw of other kinds of drugs you're taking. You can remove the straw of nutritional deficiencies. So you can remove the straws that you can. If you have to have dental x-rays, you have to have them done. You can't not have that. That's a straw that has to stay on the back. But there's other straws you can remove. The straw, well, sugar is probably the most important and the easiest straw to remove. And I'm not saying go zero tolerance necessarily, but reduce your intake of sugar. And that that's huge. Just that alone will make a significant difference in your health and allow your body to protect itself more effectively. Sugar is a toxic stuff, toxic substance. I'm reading a book now called Pure White and Deadly. If you want to get a good book, this is this came out in the 70s and it was republished in the late 80s. And it's about the sugar hypothesis. You know, this whole idea of sugar and, relate, and its relationship to heart disease was at one time very controversial and still remains a little controversial among people who know nothing about biochemistry, i.e. your doctor. Sorry to say that. And there was this big battle that went on in the 1950s and 19, late 40s and 50s and even early 60s between the fat hypothesis and the sugar hypothesis for heart disease. The guy who came up with the sugar hypothesis, whose name escapes me now, he wrote a book called Pure White and Deadly, and he said, it's not the fat, it's the sugar. And then the other guy, his name was Ansel Keys, he was working for the sugar industry, i.e. not exactly, he was working for the grain industry. He was a professor at the University of Minnesota. Uh, he, not surprisingly, said, oh no, it's not sugar, it's fat that causes heart disease. And they ended up taking the ball and running with that one, and the lipid hypothesis is the one that won out. Much to the uh, unfortunate health, or the demise in health of Americans, because as we became more and more fat phobic, our heart disease our heart disease st uh, 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 statistics rose. We got more and more heart disease as we embraced this dumb idea that it's fat that causes the heart disease or cholesterol, for that matter. In any case, reducing your sugar intake and using nutrients that help the body process sugar is incredibly, incredibly important. You're working on the digestive system. If you got leaky gut syndrome, and many of us, if not most, most of us have some degree of that, especially if you're dealing with a health challenge. Uh, patching up the gut becomes very, very important. Using the nightly essence, keeping, uh, reducing your intake of foods that's, that's cause food to, in, that cause intolerances or allergic reactions, gluten, etc. Other, you know, there's, it's not just gluten. It's, it's, there's all kinds of stuff in food that can cause people to react. Lactose, lactose in milk, and and uh, casein in milk can be a problem. Even eggs can be a problem. There's all kinds of things that could be problem foods. Reducing your intake of those foods, caloric restriction, just reducing your intake of food in general, and of course, getting on a nutritional supplement program that features sun protecting and radiation protecting nutrients. Vitamin C is probably the most important. Using vitamin C after you have an x-ray. Use vitamin C when you come in from the sun. Use vitamin C after you smoke a cigarette. If you don't want to just go out and get straight vitamin C, you'll get 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C per dose of the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. If you're a cigarette smoker, this is especially important. And there's actually radioactive compounds in cigarette smoke, and some of those radioactive compounds come out in secondhand smoke. So if you're smoking around your kids, or you're smoking in a car with the windows closed, and you got people in the car, or even if you're just walking down the street smoking a cigarette, you're emitting all kinds of toxic compounds that the people behind you are breathing in. So using uh, the, all of these uh, anti-radiation nutrients are important for not just x-rays. Vitamin E is also very important. Alpha-lipoic acid can be helpful. Selenium can be helpful. I like something called zeolite, Z-E-O-L-I-T-E. -E. And also, as I mentioned earlier, bentonite clay. Algae has chelating properties, uh, anti-radiation properties. Uh, sulfur. Uh, MSM sulfur may be able to help you. And then my all-time, all-time favorite non-essential nutritional supplement, N-acetylcysteine, can also protect you. So these are all wonderful ways of, of protecting yourself from x-rays. And by the way, I made my blemish repair complex, which you could find at truthtreatments.com. I made my blemish repair complex. I form, when I formulated it, I included these nutrients that have anti-radiation properties. You say, why did you put anti-radiation nutrients in a blemish repair complex supplement, in an anti-acne supplement? Well, because the same way that these supplements protect you from radiation, they also protect your liver. 
and liver toxicity and acne go hand in hand. So using my Truth Blemish Repair Complex is multifunctional. Not only will it help, not only will it help protect you if you're dealing with blemishes, if you're dealing with acne, and not only will it help reverse acne and, and, and improve zits, and it does very, very effectively if you're dealing with, with acne or blemishes, you definitely want to use our Blemish Repair Complex at truthtreatments.com, but will also protect you from radiation. It will also protect you from overall toxicity from foods and any, uh, drug toxicity, any, anywhere else where you're introducing toxins in the body. All right. Hey, I want to get one more call in, Carl. I'm going to let you go, buddy. Good to talk to you. Thanks for okay, bringing up I'll, that subject. Take care, I'll bro. I'll call tomorrow for the, for the next subject then. Uh, okay. Take care, man. All right. Uh, let's go to Robert in Ohio. Thanks for calling, Robert. What's going on, man? Hi, Ben. It's great to talk to you. Thank you. What's up? Okay. Hey, I want to talk about this 2012 study done by the University of Pennsylvania about PGD, PGD2 or prostaglandins and okay. uh, hair, hair fro- follicle maturing. Okay. Hair and loss, you're talking? wondering exactly how that works. Okay. Yeah, that's a great question. Prostaglandins are your molecules of inflammation and your molecules of anti-inflammation. Both inflammation and anti-inflammation are important. They're, they occur in balance in the body. Inflammation, as you know, we get this idea that inflammation is this thing we got to stay away from and we got to protect ourselves from. It's not so much inflammation that you got to avoid. It's too much inflammation. Inflammation is protective in the right amounts. PGD2, prostaglandin 2, is one of the inflammatory hormones. They all are derived, all the prostaglandins are derived from essential fatty acids. We, when we eat the wrong kinds of essential fatty acids, which most of us do, we get too much of the omega-6s, we get too much inflammation. If you have other, so, uh, other uh, uh, assaults to the body, sugar being one of them, digestive toxins another one, uh, any kind of uh, uh, deterioration or degeneration of tissue will cause inflammation. All of these will exacerbate the uh, inflammatory process, and it will also stimulate PG uh, prostaglandin 2. When it occurs in the follicles, which it can, you'll lose your hair. And this is one of the reasons why there's hair loss. I think that's what you're alluding to. Uh, was it high levels of prostaglandin 2 in people who were losing their hair? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, that's... I think it's, there's, a, there's a binder receptor uh, called GPR33 that, that kind of goes together, and then you actually start losing your hair. It's, you know what? As far as hair loss goes, that you don't need to know all that stuff. You just need to know that you've got to keep the inflammatory process down. And you've got to support anti-inflammation. You're out of balance, basically. It doesn't matter what the receptor is. The fact of the matter is, is you've got too much. omega-3s. So for anti-inflammation and inflammation, whether you're talking hair loss, whether you're talking arthritis, whether you're talking any, really any chronic degenerative disease is going to have an element of inflammation. You want to make sure you're not only make sure you're supplementing with your ultimate EFAs, but also using nutrients to support absorption of the EFAs. And that is, when we talk about that, I'm talking about the uh, bile and the liver. That means using your ultimate enzymes, using your uh, nightly essence, make sure you're using flax fiber on a regular basis. That's important for bile secretion, liver support nutrients, like my blemish repair complex, that's also important. And then also vitamin E, because vitamin E helps protect fats from oxidation. All right, Robert, thanks for your call, buddy. Appreciate it. Got to move. That's all the time we have today on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Tomorrow we'll continue talking polyphenols, and we're going to talk about a really cool one that is important for sun protection, topical as well as internal. Please check out my skin health products at truthtreatments.com or longevity products at pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and brightsideben.com. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. We will talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.